हेलो जेंटलमैन दिस इज शोमैन फ्रॉम ऑयल एंड गैस फील्ड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल टुडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग ए सब्जेक्ट वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट इन द पाइपलाइन आइसोलेशन फ्लेंजेस वाई वी नीड देम वाट आर द यूजेस हाउ टू इंस्टॉल वी विल बी इन डिस्कसिंग इन डिटेल आई हैव ए गास्केट सीरीज वेयर आई डिस्कस्ड इन शॉर्ट अबाउट ईच टाइप ऑफ गास्केट्स दिस इज स्पेशली हाईलाइटेड to discuss the isolation flanges isolation flanges or gaskets are related with insulation kit there is a set of gasket and some accessories insulation kits are designed to work in conjunction with insulation gaskets to effect the complete electrical insulation of a flanged assembly the insulation kits consists of one full length insulation sleeve two insulating washers and two steel washers for each of the bolts in the flange assembly the purpose of the insulating sleeve is to electrically separate the bolts from each side of the flange while insulating washers provide electrical insulation for each of the nuts this method of insulation provides the users with a high reliability solution to complete the electrical insulation of a flange joint what is isolation flange for pipeline i can tell it very easily suppose you have a underground pipeline the first flange when it leaves the ground and connects with the piping to enter the facility with the service or exit the facility with the service that first flange we are indicating as isolation flange isolation gasket kits play a crucial role in protecting pipeline integrity extending asset life the enhancing safety proper selection installation and periodic inspection are crucial for their long term performance underground pipelines are provided with continuous current to run cathodic protection to extend the life of the pipelines the first flange of the pipeline when leaving the underground and before connected to the above ground piping system is specifically designed to isolate electrically in pipeline system to prevent galvanic corrosion reducing stray currents and enhancing cathodic protection performance why we need to isolate flanges purpose and uses of isolation kit to isolate the flange electrically is the primary purpose of putting isolation gasket kit in between two flanges to act as an insulator between dissimilar metallic flange to stop propagating corrosion in future like carbon steel to stainless steel flange or carbon steel to alloy steel flange where carbon steel corrodes pipeline application to isolate sections of pipe work dissimilar or similar metal electrically in the cathodic protection system thus preventing the electrostatic charge flow along the pipeline electrical leakage is called also cp drainage as they remove the possibility of galvanic cell system creation components of isolation kits what actually one isolation kit contains you see it is very clear from the photograph so there will be a isolation gasket there will be isolation sleeves insulating washers and steel washers isolation gasket made from insulating material like phenolic neoprene faced phenolic or high performance material such as g10 g11 and ptfe isolation sleeves non conductive sleeves fitted over the bolts insulating washers placed between the bolt head and nut and the flange face and finally the steel washers provide structural support and compressive strength to the joint assembly what are the international codes and standards and what are the types of testing we generally do during after the manufacturing of uh, isolation gaskets the flange insulation gaskets and kits are sized according to the relevant flange specification including ansi api din bs as mssp etc flange insulation gasket kits are designed to suit asmi b 16.5 raised face full face and rtz or ring joint flanges 
Isolation kits often manufactured in compliance with NACE RP0177, ISO 9001, API and ASME flange standards. Test after the manufacturing can include hydrostatic pressure testing to check if it can hold the right pressure or rated pressure, electrical resistance and isolation verification, fire resistance in some critical applications. I want to show you the flange I was talking about. The first flange leaving from underground to above ground is considered as isolation flange. In both pictures it is very clear. With these photos I have satisfied your queries with how to identify a isolation flanges on pipelines. What will happen if the flange not electrically isolated? I told you CP drainage. How to make sure that the flanges are really electrically isolated? This we will discuss later. How to check it is electrically isolated or not. Let us see how many types of isolation gasket kits are there available in the market. Type A or raised face gasket fits within the bolt circuit and suitable for standard raised face faces. Type F gaskets are made to fit and raise face portion of the flange only. As there are no bolt holes in the F gasket, the outside diameter of the gasket falls within the inside diameter of the bolt hole circuit. Type E is a full face gasket with the same outside diameter as the flange and precision cut bolt holes in between. The design facilitates proper alignment of the gasket during installation. Type E gaskets are available in the plain face as well as a variety of high temperature materials. Type D or ring joint gasket designed for ring joint flanges includes specially shaped gasket to fit RTJ groups. Type D gaskets are specifically designed to fit into the ring group or ring time joint flanges. They are manufactured of a fabric reinforced glass epoxy phenolic material and a size 2 ANSI specification available in basic ovals as well as an octagonal shape. Also available in BX gaskets with pressure rating of 15,000 psi. And type O gasket, these are extra special as they feature an additional sealing element on both sides of the device. Generally made of PTFE, nitrile or Viton rubber and are available in both ring and full face design type E and F as discussed above. Materials in short usually include phenolic, G10 or G11 epoxy glass, PTFE, Teflon, GRE or glass reinforced epoxy. Applications, oil and transmission pipelines, offshore platforms, refinery and chemical plants, water treatment facilities, cathodic protection zones. Type CS isolation gasket. Type CS flange insulating gasket kits are specially designed for flange sealing and insulating in critical services. By the way, all these specific gasket instructions and informations I have collected from the website of Goodrick Gasket website. It is only being used for education purpose to have a specific knowledge how the gasket looks and what are the specifications. The specification highlighted in the uh, square uh, box here, you can read it in detail, but I will read the common specifications for you like this can hold around API 15,000 PSI service it can be used. It is suitable for raised face, flat face and RTJ flange and in all pressure classes. The CS gaskets has been used all over the world because of its superior sealing characteristics and excellent dielectric properties. You can see the cross section and different parts of these gaskets. The FCS isolation kit is a fire safe insulation gasket that is a tight seal technology that limits hydrocarbon releases and spread of fire. It is suitable for mismatched RTF to RF flanges and can also be used for non-critical applications. The gasket is rated to 205 degree centigrade operating temperature with zero leakage in API 6FB fire tests up to 1500 degree Fahrenheit. 
Type FCS is specially designed for protection and ensures a high level of mechanical integrity. Style N isolation gasket. This is for the race phase until 600 pound. Type N is ideal for flange isolation and general sealing applications. It is suitable for use in race phase up to 600 class. Style N is made from rigid glass epoxy reinforced laminates which exhibits superior sealing abilities and excellent dielectric and high compressive strength. Materials such as PTFE may therefore be used as sealing elements, dramatically increasing the ability to match gasket materials to service conditions. Type D flange insulation gasket kit is designed to use ring type of joint flanges with one side insulation gasket suitable for fit into the ring group and isolation sleeve for each bolt, a couple of insulating and steel washers for each bolt, applications, portable water and other fluids. Type rubber coated flange material insulative gasket. This is coated with nominal rubber like nitrile, neoprene, EPDM, etc. Coating on each side of the phenolic core from the ID to OD of the gasket. All contact areas of the gaskets are effectively a sealing point. The gasket requires more load seal than a Goodrich type N flange insulating gasket, but will perform well where pitted flange, warped flanges or non-parallel flanges such as non-metallic flanges with molded cons convex ring exists. How to select a proper isolation kit? After reviewing all gasket types, the criteria to select right type of gaskets for insulation are basically based on the following uh, considerations. Operating pressure and temperature chemically compatibility with the process or medium and electrical resistance requirement also the flange type and class. How to order an insulation gasket kit? As an engineer or QC or QC supervisor or manager sometimes your construction guys can come to you and ask you the specifications for the gaskets. So let us discuss in a little bit brief way. To order an insulation gasket kit, the following information needs to be provided. Flange specification, whether it is ANSI or ASMI, DIN, API, MSS, SP44, BSI, AWWS standard. Nominal pipe size, pressure rating and bore size. Operating pressure, temperature and the media. Gasket type, D, E, F or O type. Required sealed material, isolating sleeve material isolating washer material, metal washer material and after all the quality. You know the common vendors uh, who manufactures uh, this type of insulation gaskets can be PSI, Picotech, Central Plastics, Garlock, Trojan, Lemons, Goodrich, Aliman Gasket Factory, Advanced Products and System. So I think these informations are enough to find the vendors uh, for these gaskets. How to install isolation flanges? The gasket ID is nominally, the gasket ID is normally made slightly smaller than the flange ID. While installing, ensure that the gasket is properly centered over the bore. It will prevent build up of foreign material between the flange faces during peaking. Single washer insulating sets are recommended for underground flanges. This should be installed on the unprotected side of the flange which will provide cathodic protection for the studs as well as the nuts. For above ground flanges, it is suggested to use double washers for ease of testing. The use of alignment pins is always suggested which will ensure proper alignment of flanges and gaskets. The size of each pin uh, shall be minimum of 3 by 32 inch that is 2.38 mm larger than the bolt. A diaphragm showing a recommended bolt tightening sequence is normally supplied 
with each insulating gasket set. So here are some advantages and application areas for this type of insulation kits. Advantages of insulation gaskets can be utilized in mismatch flanges, can be used for misaligned flanges, can be used in place of ring joints, rings, uh, little initial torque required, no retorquing required, the sealing ring cannot be left out seal design tested for high pressures limited area of seal exposed greatly reduces human error during installation compensates pressure fluctuations compression changes vibration temperatures etc by the way in this uh, context i can tell you that the required torque since the gasket is non-metallic Required torque is much less than the metallic flanges like spiral wound or ring, ring joints but it gives a very good sealing. There is very rare uh, examples I found in my life that the insulation gasket is leaking. Application areas can be flange insulation in conjunction with cathodic protection, oil head isolation from interconnected flow lines, valve connections, pump connections compressor connections, mating mismatch ring joint to raise face mesh flanges, insulation flanges between dissimilar material to prevent galvanic corrosion, tanks and heat exchangers with sacrificial anodes to increase anode life. That's all for this video and I have missed one small subject intentionally. I will make a small video how to check the flanges are electrically insulated or not there is a mega test which uh, i will i will explain in detail but this will be a short video stay with me having this type of interesting subjects which you want to know related to pipeline and piping construction signing off for today showman